Friday. Finally Friday? Finally. Whew, y'all got this thing packed today. Yeah, but we had to go pick up a roll cart, which is, you know, a limited run right bank, so. Right, that's it's cool. nice. Man, this truck is full, full. Well, we're trying to, anyways. <laughs> Between people Golly. ordering and people, you know, buying stuff like crazy. Yep. <laughs> that box is just cool right there. It is. I like the fact that it's a little freight liner. Yep. Old cab over. There's probably nobody watching this video old enough to remember those cab overs, especially the ones that had like the air wipers on them. You talking about the like? I call it visit, yes. Yeah. Or the the vents that come out of the dash was like PVC pipe. Oh. It was like a little elbow thing that come up. That's yeah. That's what blew the air out. I don't sound like that was yeah. too fun to deal with. Old school right there. <laughs> but, yeah. So, on our truck that's new today is um, our cart, which mm -hmm. I think they did one back last year. I think it was a full drawer cart. Right. Now this one I think is three drawer, and of course you have your your top part. Yeah. The thing I like the most about our carts like that is so you have the option to lock the top and leave the drawers open, or right. vice versa. So, is that one got the lever in the back? Is that how that yes. one does it? Yeah. Yep. There is actually a little lever, and then it has instructions: unlock and lock. <laughs> for me. You'd be surprised. Yeah. But yeah, so it, it's pretty nice. Um, a lot of people like the drawer, or not mm. the drawer, but the tray underneath it yeah. because they're like look you know i'm tired of having to get stuff in and out or we had somebody put the magnetic things like this except they were the actual hard magnetic plate right down there and they would throw just like random stuff well, i said it's yours you do what you want with it though well did y'all watch the chiefs ravens game last night i watched bits and pieces michael watched a little bit of it and it's kind of like, eh. All I can say is if we'd have been wearing white cleats last night, it'd have been a different outcome. That was a... <sighs> that was rough. That's interesting, but I'm just going to say that in our household, whenever the Ravens get beat, you know, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a good day. Oh, y'all y'all are Chiefs fans. No, definitely not a Chiefs fan. Oh. Steelers fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's so. Fine. So, yeah, any day that the Ravens get beat. Oh, y'all got right. Zach Fields this year. It's going to be a good year for y'all. Yes, yeah. I say so. Zach was good in college. Yeah, yeah. As long as they show up, because you know sometimes you get out of college and it's not as easy as what you <laughs> think it is. That's right. So it is what it is at that point. Well, that's true. Man, y'all have got so much stuff on this truck. So what's really interesting, what you're standing by, it's not new by no means, but it is new to our truck. So Milwaukee has a pack out and i have it out so you could see yep. it. this it is a charger and a light so as you can see on that side you can see the actual light mm -hmm. and then it does also have where you can put something additional on top of it okay so keep that in mind and right now it's got lights everywhere it does it's pretty awesome lights on the side yeah and they are super bright so what is this thing so this is your charger, or no, that's your, yeah, that's where you put your battery. Oh, okay. It slides up in there then. Yeah. I, and then you have your switches on the side, which is pretty neat. And then, well, right Where's there. the cord come out? On the other side? Don't give me a lie. <laughs> I had it on here. Have to read the oh, instructions. Oh, right there it is. Okay. Oh, so it's a, a mail plug and you stick your extension cord yeah. on. Yeah. That's pretty cool. See, look, ain't that neat. Well, they thought everything, didn't they? Oh, and, well, I know you can't see it. Charger on that side, too? On the inside. Oh, like a little USB. Yeah, you charge your phone. Huh. And it has a cubby hole, if your phone's small enough to fit in it. That's pretty cool. I thought so. So, so it, does the lights run off the battery, or does it only run off the plug? I think it runs off both. That's really If I'm not neat. mistaken, it runs off both. So the guy that ordered it actually has the pack out kind of similar to the one you got that's uh -huh. like waist high, or yeah. not waist, like shoulder high. And he wanted to top his off. Yeah. So he's like, 
this is, you know, whenever I'm pulling it around work and then I've got to work at night or something like that. He said, I can pull it up there and I can turn it on. So yes, I do believe that it does run off battery also. So That's it's kind of really like our cool fans. That's a really cool rig right there. Yeah. So, you know, the fans can run off both. Uh -huh. So I believe that's the same way. Well, that's awesome. Same concept anyways. And it's an M18. So. Well, I know that little old spot blower right there is fabulous. I use that thing. I'm not going to say daily because I don't clean my shop daily, but at least once a week I use that yeah. spot blower. And so, it is nice. The reason that thing is out. You know, clean the truck, do you? Well, kind of, sort of, but people wanted to demo it. Yeah. And then our little boy. <clears throat> grabbed a hold of it and he said, oh, this one's mine. Cause see, I have hours in the house uh -huh. and I had to hide it from him because he was killing my battery. Cause he would just dirt anything. Play, yeah. Yeah. That's it's, good though. Yeah, it's fun until he's blowing dirt everywhere. <laughs> but- um, Well, if he blows the dirt, at least you can clean it then, right? So, I guess, but he likes to do it at. and it like comes up and just disperses everywhere. And yesterday was Michael's birthday. So I got confetti balloons cause I'm I love confetti balloons. But anyways, so we like to pop them and you know, it goes everywhere. Right. Yeah, that plus that and <laughs> big balloons. <laughs> but anyways, it, it is really good. It, it does clean them up. Uh, if you have a little boy, look, kid in general, adult that likes to play with stuff like that. There you go. There you go. Total deal. <laughs> but yeah, right. it, it's, it's nice. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all got a ton of new knives too. We do. It's so you know, we- like new product friday today kind of sort of so you know you have your kershaw up there that we're yep. now partners with i think they added 50 more SKUs. Holy so God. if your distributor we haven't got a book yet that has them in it kind of like our um savior stuff where our gun bags and things but that one they did get the new SKUs out so mm -hmm. you can always ask your distributor if they have them and they normally can show you on their computer or send it to you um, so Cobra Tech is one of the other ones that we carry. Mm -hmm. That's the we out the get. front knife. So yes. a lot of people. So it has about. both options, yeah. which is somebody stuck this one upside down. As you can tell, they ain't supposed to do that. But anyway, so this is a lightweight one. It's you can't tell by the video, mm -hmm. but it's super light. So it goes as you can tell. But um, anyways, and there's we got four or five different types this time. So you had the hidden trapper, which that was out the front. Right. This one's not. This one is the hidden release. And I don't flip them open because I'm terrified I'm gonna chop my fingers off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And then these are awesome because they're little, little but they're stubby. also a money clip. Oh, that's neat. And I thought so. And if you love to fish, Oh, yeah. There's a fishy one. Oh, that's pretty cool. I thought that was some kind of random tie-dye pattern or something. <laughs> it's a fish. It's a lure. And it does have the window breaker. So if you're on okay. your boat, you know, the window has to be broke out. There you go. Wow. People that don't fish don't understand it, but. I ain't never rode on a boat that's fancy enough to have windows. Me either. But <laughs> I'm just saying, most people that ride in them boats, I don't think a window breaker is going to help you so out. So y'all got months. the new pink. I haven't seen the pink yeah, yet. Yeah, so Maxion has fantastic lights very strong magnet and they did a limited run with the pink for breast cancer awareness we went ahead and put our order in with them because they said those things sell out fast oh, yeah. we like them it's i mean it's a good alternative that's a cool have. yeah 750 lumens is not bad at all yep. for a light that's the first time i've seen the pink yeah i like the color of the pink too it's not the yeah. You know, sometimes pink's a little too pastel, mm -hmm. but I like know, that neon '80s pink. That's where you know they have like the signs up in the windows, and it's like the and yeah. the neon '80s orange and the blue. I guess because I was grew up in the '80s. Yeah. Well, my mama raised me on the '80s, so that's yeah. Like some of the stuff I didn't like, like the scrunchy socks and all that weird stuff. I didn't like that. Oh, I like the, the colors. Yeah. yeah, I like the colors in the '80s. They did. I'm sure your wife loved her hair. Oh, she Very had a big fluffy. poofy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, when I went to school, my mama still did my hair that way, and that was not the style. So let me just thought, <laughs> what you grew up on is not what your kids go to school with. It's funny, too, because like, my mom grew up, you know, like she was, my mom was born in 1950, so in the 70s, she was in her 20s, you know, yeah. so it was the bell bottoms and the tube tops. and The hippie style, you know, the old, yeah. 
the 70s stuff, right? And now these kids are wearing that stuff, you know, and the stuff from the 80s. And that's funny. My mom will just laugh. She'll be like, I remember when I had them pants back in the day, you yep. know, because the kids think it's like something new. But yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they created that style. That's uh, it. My daughter, you talking like that. My mother in law used to talk about all the stuff that she used to wear. Well, you know, of course, kids and all, oh, you know, it don't matter. Well, now my daughter has the same style that my mother in law had. Like literally down to the Converse yeah. shoes that my daughter wears. That's funny, isn't it? And I'm like, you know, it, it's funny how it just does like a full circle effect. So and it's really funny too, cause like our youngest boy, he wanted champion, champion, champion. Yeah. I was like, man, when I was young, champion was like it was cheap, like it was the stuff at Walmart. Yeah, like yeah. it really was. It yeah. was sold at Walmart. Like the hoodies were like five dollars or whatever. You know, like everybody yeah. else wanted Reeboks and Nike and K-Swiss and that kind of stuff yeah. back when I was younger. And uh, he's like, no, it wouldn't. I said, I promise you, it was like the Walmart Kmart brand. Levi and Wrangler are a prime example of that. Had a pair of Levi's, loved them. Yeah, yep. it's a cheapy cheat. Now mm -hmm. you can't buy a pair of Levi's or Wrangler that not So just... talking about old school stuff, this is bad. I should you tell it. Like, this is how stupid I am. I'm putting this on the internet. So I had a pair of button fly jeans that my wife got me. I think they were from Old Navy, I think. Well, they were cheap jeans. They were like expensive jeans, you know, cheap jeans. But they were button fly jeans. And I love those jeans. I wore those pants until they rotted. Like the fabric, you could just barely pull on it. And it just so it had like thousands of tires in it. Well, she'd keep fixing it because I wouldn't let her throw them away. But they were so bad, it was pitiful. It had like more aftermarket stitching in it than it did factory stitching. Oh, now it'd be worth a fortune. But I wouldn't ever wear them out. Like I'd always wear them mother grass, you know, work yep. around the farm or whatever. But I love those pants. And we went back. <laughs> <laughs> back to Old Navy. I'm pretty sure it was Old Navy. It may have been Gap. I can't remember. But anyway, we went to that store to buy me a replacement pair. Now, these jeans is at least from, I don't know, 2009, 10. That was old. Yeah. We go back to the store, and the lady's like, are you sure we have them? Because I don't have those kind of jeans. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So she looks in the system. They hadn't made those things in like 10 years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, so. And then maybe in the smart ass thing, so, so you can't order me now? <laughs> you don't have none left in after stock. Yeah, you ain't got none in the back. <laughs> but yeah, oh. but I'd wore those things. And uh, that's something I don't understand. Like I really like button fly jeans. You know? Yeah. Well, give it about 10 more years and they'll yeah, probably come out. they'll come they'll back. Be, That's what I'm waiting on. be three digits to buy some. Shoot, yeah, and I'll buy a closet full of them because they probably won't make them. I'll be dead before the next train comes back. Well, <laughs> yeah, just buy you enough, all different sizes, because you never know. Be like 30-year-old jeans still with the tags on them because I'm saving them. Oh, yeah. Uh, be like those Nike shoes that people were showing all over uh, the video. I think it's TikTok that they were... You know, they had them in a case because they weren't wearing them. Well, they never compressed them, I guess. So when they took them, they were rubbing their finger down the side and it was just deteriorating. Oh, no. Brand new shoes still in a box. But they said because the foam, it doesn't, I don't know how that stuff works, but they weren't using them. So it didn't compress or something other and it just deteriorated. Well, see, I ain't oh. never been one to have collector clothes or shoes. Oh, me either. I just watched it on TV. So I had the original Jordans ones from back in the day, <clears throat> and I wore them. I had the ones, and I had the threes, and I had the fours, and then I didn't buy any until, like, I think it was, like, six or sevens after that. But uh, I remember my Jordan ones, I had wore them so much that, the rubber started coming loose on the bottom, so I just threw them away. Yeah. And then the threes, I weed eated in them shoes. Like, I mean, I wore them till they got dirty, you know, and then, like, I mowed grass in them probably five or ten years after they was out of style. We put them in the washing machine and washed them, and they looked brand new again. Yeah. And uh, I, that was... Uh, they'd already, they're already my weed eating shoes at this yeah. point, right? So I just continued to weed eat them. And like they come out with like the next version of it. 
And uh, it was, man, I can't believe you're weight eating in them Jordans. I was like, dude, these things are 12 year old. Yep. <laughs> it was the originals. Like, it blew people's minds. They were still wearing them. I still yeah. had them, you know, because they thought it was like the new, like, they remade that version. Like, no, boy, these are like the old G versions right here. Well, it's like whenever they had teal. Like, back in the day, they had like a teal cut. Well, I call it turquoise, but I look for those forever well now they did a remake of them you know they're white with the teal nike symbol on them and yeah i just i want those like mm -hmm. but i want the old ones old ones yeah i don't want these new ones i want the old ones but. i tell you something that blew my mind when i seen them is and it's a new thing but those golden goose tennis shoes come with stars on the side of them have you it, seen how it, expensive they are my daughter wanted a pair and i, I was like oh you know i've seen them like, everybody what, are, wearing what them. is what is what is so special about it? it's got a mm -hmm. it's, it's a gold it's a converse yep. with a gold star and some glitter sprinkled on it i got some mod podge and some glitter from walmart i guess Damn, I can two hundred dollars for a pair <laughs> pair of $40 <laughs> Converse's. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to do like Caroline. I'll just get her a pair of Converse and we'll take some Elmer's glue and do the star on the side and sprinkle some glitter on it. There you go. Look, I'll tell you this. We it went, ain't golden goose. These is gold plated goose. Go <laughs> <laughs> Play goose, what we call it. Um, you were talking about that. So I know it's off tool subject, but our kids, we went and bought school clothes because, you know, school started back August 1st. Yep. We went school shopping the week before school. My daughter got her Converse's, my son got his little Under Armour shoes, and my daughter got um, some kind of generic Hello Kitty. We go to Ross, or uh, I think it's Bill's now, and we get their shoes because we're like, they're going to grow out of them. I'm not sure. spending an arm yeah. and a leg on shoes. So the kid's think, rough on shoes, too. Yeah. So I'm like, $20 a piece on shoes? I'll do it, you know? Yeah. I mean, that beats you know what my high schooler had to pay for her Converse's. So no big deal, right? Two weeks into school, my son said, my toes hurt. He done outgrew them? He done outgrew them. Wow. Now we had got them a little bit bigger so uh -huh. he could grow. Yeah, he done outgrew them. That's now they awesome. hadn't been washed nothing, dried. So I'm like, cause maybe I shrunk them cause I've done that before. And nope, outgrew them. Well then my daughter comes to me a week after that and says hers, she outgrew those. So we went to Walmart and they have some knockoff converses is what yeah. they are. She wears those things, treats them like gold, because that's what she thinks they are. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to burst my yeah. kid's bubble. There you go. Man, that boy's going to be an offensive lineman, ain't he? Yeah, he's, he's like this tall. That's what I'm talking about. We'll have to bring him on a video one day, but he's in school now, so he don't yeah. get to. Well, are y'all doing the cheerleading thing at the. Yeah, so we'll be. Y'all, have y'all seen what the talk is with the ball game tonight? Oh, yeah. Our daughter is in band, so. Yeah. People that watch the video don't understand. So, Boonville. Football is a big ball. thing yes. here. Like, in, in Mississippi, it's, it's, it's huge. Big. In the yeah. South, it's huge. Well, Boonville ball one is like a severe rivalry game. Mm -hmm. and, and it's always been that way. Always. Like, before and I, I mean, even started. I didn't even know. go to Boonville. He yeah. did. So, it was it's crazy. But our daughter is in band. Band cannot leave the stands. They have to. They're going to have a police escort from the. Yeah band hall like over to the stadium serious guys for real. and then they cannot leave the stands once they get there mm -hmm. they are in place when they get a break or they say they have to go to the restroom they have to go in a group and the police has to escort them to the restroom yep. the police will stand outside the door <laughs> so it well, is a big rivalry game <laughs> it's funny because i got like buddies that's you know from everywhere yep. and people don't understand if you're not from here how big high school baseball and football is here. Oh, and softball's got that way yeah, too. Yeah, softball too. Boonville yeah. softball has got huge. And I'm like, that's and good. I'm glad. They don't understand it. And when I'm like, well, I'm going to watch the high school game tonight on TV. They're like, what? How you watch it on TV? I was like, yeah, we have our own. Oh, yeah. Like, Blue Interested Devil in? TV. Yeah. They're like, what? I'm like, yeah, like you can watch every high school game yep. on TV. We actually had somebody, um, they panned to it, so it's Blue Devil TV. Yep. If anybody on here wants to watch it, right. it's tonight's going to be the Skunk Bowl is what That's they call it. it. Because they skunk run across the field a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, that was like 12 years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's still called the Skunk Bowl. And we actually had somebody watching from Australia last year. Wow. Yeah, they said the furthest out they've had was Australia. And I'm yeah. like, well, that's pretty neat, you know. You're getting some, you uh -huh. know. But they had tons of thousands, of view, or ten, not tens of thousands, but a thousand viewers the last time. 
Yeah. So it was people don't really understand cool. like when I try to like because you know Tim Parsons from yep. from Utah. You know, I'm like, dude, baseball is like the thing. You know, here and then as soon as baseball season's over, like it automatically switches gears to football. Yeah, like, you're, you're in spring football before like, you know it. Yeah, like it, and it's a big thing. And like nobody really understands it until they come here and just go oh, yeah. one time. So. Well, our little boys in kindergarten, like I said, so they make a huge deal out of it. Like you said, they've had spirit week all week. They were off Monday, but it started Tuesday. Well, so they build that hate young yes. in them little guys. Well, he starting thinks, kindergarten. <laughs> so. Today is blackout day, so they are dressed head to toe in blackout. Well, I got them some. Face eye black, paint. yeah. yeah but they no, have, it's like, not face paint. It's eye black, mama. Eye black. Okay, eye, eye black. black. Well, they have these that are peelable now, so I don't have to worry about them smearing all over his yeah. face. Yeah, he said he's game on, is what he says. Game on. And uh, he go. said he's going out on that field tonight, so we're going to have an interesting <laughs> conversation on how he's not standing on the sideline. <laughs> You'll Good be looking at bleachers. <laughs> y'all watch the game tonight, and y'all watch their child run out in the middle of it. Is this happening, boys? Game on. I hope he's not. got pumped up. He is. He is very pumped up. And he's only five, so there you go. we shall see how this goes. You're going to let him play peewee football? If he's able to. He wasn't able to last year because he wasn't in pre K, but yep. he will be able oh, to play. He's this got year. it this year, then. But real quick, so I know because we're fixing that to go, but yep. um, we got these. I got sidetracked so bad. Yep. But um, these are kind of new. I believe they, they might be just officially new, but um, they're titanium blue cobalt mechanics left-handed drill bits. Uh -huh. So awesome. They do come in a hard case and they're labeled. So if you don't know what your drill bit is. Very nice. Everything should be labeled like that. Yes. So I know the titanium part, we had the other ones mm -hmm. and everybody absolutely loved them. Very I think we nice. got one set left of the other ones and as soon as we sell them, we just reorder them because I mean, we know they're going to sell. There you go. So, and you know, as a mechanic, left hand drill bits come in handy if you know how to use them. Yeah. And most time, if it don't come out with the drill bit, it's time to start cussing. Oh, yeah. So, we had a cussing. What really down. sucks is when you break that extractor off in that hole. That's what he did yesterday. He was helping somebody, and the guy didn't ask, the guy didn't ask for help. So now he has to turn around and go, and apparently he got it hung up in there and he was just trying to he broke off a spark plug oh shit yeah so Damn. now he's apparent so correct uh, me if i'm wrong because i'm not a mechanic so when a spark plug goes down in there there's actually like a you know what i'm talking about like, you like screw this, inside yes, the threads inside. yeah like once you break it off yeah. and you get the spark plug out uh -huh. right is there anything that goes down in there with the spark plugs well they had a lot of that happening with the five threes, you yep. know. Well, the two valve five threes, you couldn't get the plugs out. Yep. Or the you, they would blow their stuff out. Sorry, and then the three valves, you couldn't get them out. All right. So, what we would do is fix it where it wouldn't start and turn it over, and hopefully it blows the debris back out of the thing. We tried vacuuming it, and then there to the we just screw a new one in and go. So. Yeah. So what was it that they were saying yesterday? It he tried to get the spark plug out because it broke. Well, like he was saying, it was a it was a common problem where when you'd go to get it out, part of it would come out and then the porcelain would stay in there. Mm -hmm. Well, they do make a tool for some of them, um, but on this particular one, they the person drove a extractor, a down four sided extractor down in there. Well, he didn't stop in time. And it uh -oh. actually went past it. So then they couldn't get it lined back up to get it out. Um, so, yeah. He's had they have to take the head off? When we left, they were trying to find oh, out was a way cussing. to grab a hold of it and try to just pull it out. Because, you know. It, um, there was some cussing going on in yeah, that shop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, um, which there was a little bit. So, in a dealership world or in any, any world, any shop world, um, you want to protect yourself and let the customer know to protect the, sure. the potential. Now, sometimes stuff's happening and you can't, mm -hmm. you can't preface it. Um, but apparently with this one, they knew that it was fixing to break and the guy didn't stop. So they were trying to, they're trying to figure out a way to fix their screw up without having to call the customer and say, Hey, look, uh, yeah, we screwed up. Now they're, 
in their mind because it was leaking water uh, and they believed that it needs a motor anyway uh, they were just gonna call the customer and say hey we're, you're gonna have we're going to tear it down anyway um, but in reality the best thing to do if we know it's just a break would be to stop call the customer and say hey this is this in the break do you want us to keep going or do you want us to stop um, but that didn't happen so once you go past that stop yep. that stop sign there you can <laughs> kind of on your own yeah so yep. in my opinion the right way to fix it would be to pull the head now it's great yeah if you can grab something and get it out that that's great still got to get the porcelain out but that's great um but yeah uh, fun fun times yeah i do not want to be in that shop <laughs> that's it all right guys well thanks for hanging out with us today we've took y'all entirely all the way around the world and back again so if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here if you're not subscribed take your finger click that button y'all have a great one see ya